Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a very simple achievement system. For what I have crafted made right now, I have a simple food item and a simple regular item. We're just going to be using these to show you how to make an achievement. Now, how achievements work are you're going to have your achievement that you're going to be creating which is your achievement element. And then what you want to do is have a item or block or something that ha can use a procedure and basically open a new procedure and then program it into the actual item or block or whatever to give the achievement. Now, we're just going to be using a food item and a regular item for this particular tutorial. However, you can use um, any procedure item to that supports player entities as well uh, in the actual achievement procedure itself. So to create a procedure, you go to achievement, go and name your achievement. So eat grapes, we're just gonna call that our achievement. Right here, there's an actual item. It's a little bit hard to see with this background, but there is a box here the icon changes over the mouse when you hover over it. It's for your achievement icon. It's best to choose an icon or an item or block that you're going to want people to remember. Something different from the other tabs for uh, the achievements. You're gonna. I'm just going to select my grapes because I'm going to be programming the grapes to actually be eaten to give an achievement. The achievement name is what's going to be displayed on your root or for what the achievement actually is. So for your root achievement, um, I would keep it short because it will take up a lot of space. So for example, grapes. And for the description, uh, this is best to basically tell people what they need to do, complete the achievement. So eat some grapes. Eat some grapes. So now we have the achievement type. Uh, the achievement type is based on the icon for the achievement. Tasks are just basic squares. Goals, ha goals have um, their own unique kind of decoration and so do challenges. So we're just going to use a task for our first achievement. Because we're creating a new tab, we don't need to select any of the previous um, achievements in the game. Uh, we're just going to go no parent root and that will create a new tab for us. Our location should be 00, zero because it is our root number and what we're going to do is click next. So once we have created our actual achievement what we want to do is go to our item, click next and obviously you've probably already at this point filled out all your food item properties and stuff like that. You want to go to the procedures tab. I notice that this says food events. I don't know if that's a bug or not. But uh, when we're going to basically add a new procedure and go grapes food eaten or whatever procedure name you want. And then what we want to do is create a player procedure and select add achievement to provided player achievement and then the drop down box of your achievements. So I'm just going to select our one and only achievement at the moment and click add procedure, click next and let it compile. So that's basically all set up there. So we're going to build on to that particular achievement there. So we're going to create a new achievement and we're going to go craft great jam and now we can have some fun with the the actual achievement name because it's not going to be showing as the overall tab but we first need to add the icon so we're going to select the jam itself achievement name sweet and And the description craft 
some grape jam. And we're going to set this as a goal just to show you that it's different. Now for the parent, what you want to do is you want to go down to your where you see custom and then select that. This is we only have two procedures. You're going to want to build onto the actual last achievement that you're building your path off of. And what we're going to do because this is what what we want to do is offset it uh, by one on the x. So it's going to go. So basically, one positive or positive one x is to the right. Negative one x is to the left. Positive one y is up and negative y is down. So we're going to basically offset it to the right by going positive 1x. And then we're going to go click next. And now we need to program it into the actual item. So we're going to go and skip all that. And then we're going to go on item creation. And we're going to create a new procedure. And we're going to go and select player add achievement to provided player achievement and then we're going to select craft grapes add procedure and there are a few other things that we can do with it we can uh, for example when mob is hit with the item we can actually do something too so we'll do that uh, just to show you how we can get it to basically do two things at once Okay, so what we're going to need to do is create a third achievement when mob hit with jam. So we're going to go and select our achievement icon and we're going to go with achievement name now. And description, so hit a mob with jam. And we're going to have it as a challenge. And we're going to go down to eat grapes. We're actually going to offset this one and then offset this positive one on Y. We're going to have to adjust this a little bit too. So we're going to do that. We're going to go back to craft grapes jam, craft that, and we're going to offset this negative Y. So this will give you an idea how it all works. And then what we need to go back into grapes or grape jam item. And then we're going to create a new procedure when mob hit with item. And we're going to add player procedure and add achievement to provided player. And then we're going to select our new one. So that's how it's all set up. Uh, we're also going to need a recipe for our crafting for the jam. So we're going to go craft. Jam. And I'm just going to make it a shapeless recipe. I'm going to select our grapes. And I'm going to select a bowl. And I'm going to select our icon. And next. Alright, so that's all set up. So basically, what's happening is we're going to eat some grapes. We're going to open the achievement window, and then we're going to see some other achievements that we can do with the particular grapes. So let's go into game and show you how all that works. Okay, to make our lives a lot easier, what I'm going to do is grab the food item, and I'm going to grab some bowls and a crafting table. So if we go down here and place this, and we go to game mode zero, uh, let's, I don't know, find a tree to jump off of, I guess. Uh, this one will do just fine, hopefully. So we'll do that, and we should be able to get some hunger. Alright, so now we have hunger. So if we eat the grapes, 
we got the achievement. If we go to achievements, grapes, as you can see, there are now two different types of achievements that you can see. Uh, we've already eaten the grapes, so we can create, let's uh, create some grape jam. So we go and craft some jam up. And we got our next achievement, as you can see here. And now we can go hit something with this grape jam. And did we get it? And that's weird. Should have gotten it. Maybe it's a hostile mob. Let's go find a hostile mob. Alright, so I just changed it tonight. I couldn't find a cave anywhere around, so let's go find something to hit with a mob with. Now a mob is more of like a hostile, I think. Maybe not. got monster hunter but we didn't actually get that one so I don't know maybe it's right click a mob yeah that doesn't work either so it could just be a bug with the the actual procedure and I'm gonna now die so anyhow I hope you enjoyed uh, today's uh, tutorial if you're new to my channel definitely consider subscribing and I will see you guys next uh, week with another M Creator tutorial for another mod element. So, see you then.